Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online Permadeath. I'm just getting started on Quest in the Harbour here. And as I often do, I'm starting with Information is Key. I actually did start playing this quest yesterday and uh, ran into problems with recording again. Um, so I will include the partial recording, I guess I'll tack it onto the end of this video um, so that my YouTube account remains complete for this character. But I just got like a minute into the quest and had to give up because my uh, computer was playing up again. Alright. Across the room you see an iron defender. What I did figure out in that run yesterday is that uh, this caustic shot is really useful against the iron defenders. Alright, gonna remove my buffs as well. Alright, this quest is pretty straightforward, uh, for an artificer at least. And there are a couple of nasty fights with iron, well, a couple of potentially dangerous fights, let's say, with iron defenders. But my caustic ability seems to take care of them well enough. And for everything else in here, just the end fight really is tricky. But not too tricky since I've made sure to get to level three first, so I've got quite a few hit, quite a few hit points. This is a nice and easy a ranged character, of course. There's no breeze. You see one of our good men making his way down the tunnel ahead. Okay, on defender time. Caustic shot is coming in, uh, coming in handy. Ah, oh, that's one of the things I took in Battle Engineer. I've basically been trying to figure things to spend points on in Battle Engineer other than the main crossbow line, since the crossbow enhancements don't do much for repeaters. Since the game design has rightly concluded at some point that repeaters were already pretty powerful even without uh, enhancement buffs. As usual, breaking all the boxes in here. Uh, this one is actually quite a lot of experience for its level, and uh, so the extra XP will be useful. I want to get to level 4 as soon as possible. You notice that the smuggler is struggling to keep his grip on an awkward. You must have the artifact you're after. Oh, my dog does have the uh, box breaking enhancements. Nice. It's great for the uh, recordings in particular, for the uh, dog do the box breaking for me. You 
hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below and to the west. You hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below and to the west. It sounds like something heavy is being ratcheted into place. All right. Yeah, this is about 3,000 XP for um, maybe 15 enemies in total this quest. Certainly a big payoff compared to some of the Cobalt quests. Alright, here we are, ready for the end quests. Nice, nice. Once again. Once again, the uh, caustic ability coming in handy. Path ends in a well-kept warehouse. This must be where Osgood stashes his illicit goods until they can safely be smuggled out of. You lift the case and slide it onto your back. Quickly return to the Fairlane representative. Uh, all right, that's. That's it for the actual run of the quest, and I'll, as I say, I'll append after this on the video the failed run that I did before that, which was due to a recording problem. Um, so just skip ahead to the next video if you don't want to watch. Uh, if you don't want to watch that. Uh, thanks for watching. Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadeath. And it's time to get started in the harbour. We'll start with the one that I often start with out here, which is information is key. This one is uh, quite a lot of XP, and uh, I'm obviously keen to get up to level 4 as soon as possible. There's plenty of quests here that I can do at level 3, but... Boosting my trapping up so I can keep doing stuff on Elite would be best. Ooh, that was a bit laggy there. Hopefully it doesn't stay that way. Descending into the basement, you hear another sound of whirring gears and a guttural growl. Just checking out my uh, gear and equipment here a moment, since I haven't played for more than a week, so... Just checking what my spells are. Okay. Uh, where did I put some... Um... Hmm, I hadn't actually... Uh... Oh, I haven't got the components yet for um, Lightning Sphere. This is not optimal play. The idea is to actually buy your spell components. This is a pretty safe quest though, so I'm not too worried about this one. I didn't get my dog the uh, box breaking enhancement yet. I should get that um, next time. It's not a big deal mechanically, but it helps a lot when I'm recording, so I don't have to spend quite so much time running around after boxes.
All right, well, I'm ideally uh, set up for the users in here, since I got the crossplay for that. And I think this caustic attack that I've got is good for uh, the... the uh, mechanical dogs in here. The uh, iron defenders. I think these are secret doors, but let's check. Nope. Is there one more use? There we are. Yeah, these on defender fights can be a little tricky at low levels. But that'd be fine on uh, this character. Here they are. Oh yeah, that rust attack. It's devastating to them. It's interesting, I wonder if there are any other quests where having that, uh, that rust attack will be particularly useful. There's a nasty iron defender in uh, Prove Your Work in Free Barrel Cove. Should, should work out well for that. I'm breaking all the boxes as usual here. <laughs> 